In this class, we will learn the first movement of silk reeling. Silk reeling is the characteristic of Chen style Tai Chi. So silk reeling is mean the rotation in our body. So every movement involved with silk reeling. Silk reeling can strengthen our tendon, ligament, and muscles power. Also, silk reeling can flow our energy to the limbs of the body. So now, I am going to demonstrate the first movement for you. And then, we will step by step to learn this good foundation movement. Open our feet, right toes 45. Sing down, palm press down, shift away to the left, turn left, lift the palm up, shift turn right, palm press down, shift turn left, lift up, shift turn right, go down. We can change another hand, shift and left, open, palm press down, shift and right, palm lift up, shift and left, palm down. Okay, so this is the one hand seal reeling movement. So just now you can see during I practice, the first thing is learn how to balance my body. Uh, so when I move to left or move to right, I have to keep my body, upper body, moving in a balanced position. So don't lean forward, lean backwards. Uh, the, second, the second important thing is learn how to shift and turn your body. In the order Tai Chi form, Shift and turn is very important and we use in every movement. Uh, so you're going to, to learn how to do it well. Uh, Still reeling foundation movement is also can build your leg foundation and try to relax your muscle and you can improve your body coordination before you study the Tai Chi form. All right, so now let's uh, start to learn. Uh, the first one we need to learn about the hand and upper body. So now we can just put the leg open and for the palm, palm in front of our chest. Uh, so we open the arm to the right side and put out the palm. So when we open the palm to the right side, we keep our arm is round, so never stray. And then number two, relax the arm down. So the palm press down the Dantian's level. Number three, my right palm rotate, I rotate in, palm face up. Number four, then I lift up in front of my center line in front of my neck All right so let's do again rotate out open one number two press down number three move to the center dantian level number four leave this up okay so second second step is turning the body so we we need to find three direction the first direction is face forward second direction you need to know turn to the right 45 degree the third direction is to left 45 degree so our hand and body will connect together so my body upper body turn to the right 45 then my arm is open to the right and palm press down 
then body turn to the left 45, my arm will follow my body to, to the left in front of Dantian. Then palm lift up, number four. Uh, then one, I turn to the right. And then two, my palm press down. Uh, three, turn to the left, 45. And four, in front of my center line lift up. Uh, so this is the second step. Uh, turn to left and right with the arm. Number third step is how to shift the body and turn the body. All right, so now we open the leg. So we use the both stand. Right toes 45 degree, left toe a little bit inward, and then sitting down, put your weight 70% on the right foot, 30% on the left. And keep your upper body straight and relax the hips. So we're going to learn how to shift and turn the body. So first things we need to turn the body right. Uh, so we relax, we need to relax or loosen up our joints, our hip joints, to let your pelvis can easily to turn to the right, 45 degree. So when you turn, your upper body will follow your pelvis to turn to the right. After you turn to the right, then you move the way. Move the way to the left. So 70% on the right side. Now I move to 70% on the left. All right. Then the third step, my body turn to the left 45 degree. So my knee doesn't move, just move my pelvis to the left. Number four, then I shift to the right and then turn straight forward. So now we, I back to the beginning again. All right, let's follow me to do again. Straight up your body, relax your right hips and turn your upper body to 45 degree. Number two, move my way to the left. Number three, relax the left hips and move the body to the left side. Now face to left 45. Number four, now move my way back to the right foot and body turn straight forward. Uh, so we have four steps to shift and turn. Uh, when you do, do it often, then you also can move it more flow. Uh, you can do it in a continuously. All right, so now, these three steps we can together, arm, bar, upper body, leg shift and turn together. So now we open the arm. First, then we put down the hand. Shift away to the left, relax the hip and turn to the left. So upper body is always a follow the middle part of the body. Then shift away, huh? lift the palm up and shift away to the right 70%. And I turn to the right, open the arm. So my palm, toes, knee will be the same direction, then I press down. I shift to the left and left, lift up. Shift to the right and right, hand down. Shift to the left and left, hand up. Shift to the right and right, hand down. Okay, we also can do the left side. So left toe 45, now right toe a little inward. And left palm facing the same as your left toe's direction, 45. Uh, first, palm press down. Uh, shift away to the right and then turn to the right. And then lift up the palm. Shift to the left. Turn left. How you can see one palm down, two shift turn, three palm up, four shift turn open, one palm down, two shift turn, three palm lift, 
four, shift turn, shift turn to the 45 degree. Okay, so this is a left and right practice. When you practice by yourself, uh, there are some uh, common um, mistakes, uh, easy to make. The first, the first one is about the shift and turn. When we shift and turn, we have to, we have to focus on our knee, hips, and pelvis. Okay, so when we shift away, we need to focus on the knee because of when we shift away to the left, we need to move in our left knee. So don't let your left knee outward too much, inward too much, or forward too much, or not enough. Uh, so this, you have to slow down your movement and step by step to practice. So when you shift away, you need to let your knee go to your toes direction. If you are outward, your, your left foot is not flat, not balanced. If you're inwards or not balanced. If you're backwards, it's not enough. Then when you move to the toes direction, then make sure your knee and ankle straight down or a little bit forward, but never over the toes. Because of over the toes, you may feel the knee have a lot of stress. So your use your knee to carry your upper body. We need to shift away. You will feel like your knee is still maintained soft. Your upper body's weight can through your knee go down to the ball of the feet, right? This is very important practice. Number two, when we shift away, we need to relax the hips to let our pelvis can more flow to turn we start blocking if we if we don't relax then when you turn you feel it's very tight so we need to relax the hips and turn when you re when you turn your body don't move your knee just relax your hips and then turn your pelvis don't do it like this move out or move in don't twist your knee Okay, otherwise your knee will too much pressure. Okay, also shift the way to left, finish, let your left knee stay, and then relax the hip and turn the pelvis 45 degrees. Uh, then go to the right, you shift the way, huh? you move your knee a little until you feel the pressure go to the ball of the feet. Uh, where is the ball of the feet? This part is the ball of the feet. Okay, so ball of feet, you feel the pressure there. How then, when you turn, make your knee stay and then relax your hip to turn your pelvis 45. How then, shift to the left. How, this is the second one, hips. The third one, the third one, when we turn, sometimes it's very easy just, okay, turn my shoulder to move the body. No, we need to let the pelvis move. Uh, this part to guiding your upper body to move to the left or move to the right. Okay, so this is the three common mistakes. So we need to avoid it. All right, so at the end, please follow me to exercise this form together. Okay. Open the palm. Sitting down. You also can stand in higher if you feel um, your leg not that strong. You can stand in higher. Palm down first one. Shift turn two. Leap up three. Shift turn four. Uh, see your knee. Down. Shift turn left. Leap up. Uh, the left palm. The tiger mouse just put on your left hips and straight up your upper body to practice. Uh, one, one side you can start from like three minutes to practice. Uh, then learn how to shift turn your body. Uh, then after that you can change another side to practice. Uh, shift turn, lift up, shift turn. Hand down, shift turn, 
hand up, shift turn, hand down. Okay, so now I face to this direction to show you. Uh, keep your lower back straight and tuck your chin to let the top of the head lift up. Relax your hips, relax your shoulder, relax your knee, relax your wrist. Uh, palm down, shift to the left, turn left, lift up. Shift, turn right, turn right, hand down. Shift, turn left, lift up. Shift, turn right. Your arm follow your body. Body turn, arm turn. Body stop, arm stop. Palm down. Shift, turn. My body stop, my palm stop in front of Dantian. And shift, turn left. Shift turn right. So when you practice for a while, you may feel like your leg getting stronger. This is very good. Okay, so this is one hand shield reeling basic movement practice.